Uh, Chris, do you feel you did enough to deserve a point tonight? Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. I think, um, you know, they, they paid us a massive compliment tonight. By the way, they played, and obviously that, you know, they had the, the last game in their minds, and you know, when we, you know, how can we beat them very convincingly? So I think they've set up, you know, to, to sit back and and, and try and absorb pressure. Um, you know, all credit to them, and I thought they defended well. Um, I thought last ten minutes we played into hands a little bit, and we we stopped doing what we've been doing um, all game and trying to get the ball down and play through them. Uh, I, I think, you know, we, we, probably the luck wasn't with us tonight. You know, Tom's uh, we've had a chance off a corner and it's come back in, and Tom's at the uh, at the crossbar when you know it looks like it's in for all the way from from my position. And you know, we've had a couple of chances. Uh, I think Matty owns it one at the the, the, the standing keeper as. Uh, has saved. I, I thought, you know, all credit to them as well. I thought they protected their, their keeper really, really well in the second half. And you know, we, we just probably fell a little bit short in terms of uh, you know, creating chances. But then it is hard to, when you, you're breaking down, you know, pack defences. So we've got to be a little bit better than, uh, when we come up against a team that does that to us. As you said, Clennon Davis come on in the second half in goal. Normally a defender. Were you disappointed that you didn't test him? Maybe as much as you'd wanted to. Well, I think, like I said, you've got to give them credit because they defended really well. They, you know, they defended deep and they stopped shots and uh, stopped crosses. You know, when we did get into those opportunities, we probably took the wrong decision or we didn't um, make the most of the opportunities or the opportunity we were given. Um, so, I, you know, I think it was a, a decent enough performance from us tonight. I've got no gripes with how we played. Uh, we shifted the ball well and moved the ball uh, quickly at times. Um, you know, in the last third, we probably took a, the wrong options. But people got to remember as well. It's a young group of players we've got. Um, and they're learning all the time, and you know I think that's the respect that we've got in the league now. That teams are coming, you know, Aberystwyth with a team at home, you know, what second or third in the league, and they set up the way they've done tonight. They've, that's paid us a, ma a massive compliment to us. But we've just got to be a little bit better in, in terms of breaking them down. You named uh, Neil Mitchell at the back tonight in the place of, of Shane Sutton, a, a different position for Mitch. But how do you think he got on at the back? Yeah, I thought he was very good. I thought they all did really well. I think you know Mitch is a good footballer. He's got a good football brain. You know he. He's, he's, he's strong. He's good in the air. He, he's got a good pace. So it was it was a, you know a, a, an easy decision for me to, to, to play him alongside here, and he, I thought he did well. And it was good that Sean got his first start tonight, and he, he he looked good in patches. And you know the more minutes he gets, the more games he gets, the better he'll become, and he'll be a, a major player for us this season. You put as I said, then you put Mitchell at the back. Do you feel that you sort of because he wasn't up front or in behind Jason? Do you feel you lack that sort of link? Between the midfield and the front two tonight? No, not really. I think Sean coming in, Sean's, uh, Sean's done well. I, I think it was difficult for the, the front players to get any real space because, you know, the way they played, like, as I said, they set up and, and, and squeezed the space centrally. We just didn't shift the ball quick enough to get the ball side to side to move them around. And that's probably the, the only disappointment. But, you know, like I said, the young group of players, um, you know, sometimes naive, and it, naivety can be a positive or a negative. And, um, you know, they've got bags of energy, um, bags of enthusiasm, and, and, you know, we'll do well this year. Just looking at the facts, Chris, it's three straight defeats now. You're down to eighth. Is there a danger you could drop into a bit of a rut? No, I think you know we were unbeaten in, in six um, th three weeks ago, and we were up into fifth. I think you know I think Ballo did the same. I think Ballo lost three games, um, and they've and they've won uh, the last three, and now they're their third, fourth in the league. So there's no there's no issues from us. We've had a run of, uh, of tough games. You know, obviously TNS and and coming to Aber tonight, they're, they're, they're you know tough places, to, tough teams to play against. Obviously, the slight disappointment was the, the Connors Key game. I think, but if you look at the, the, the three games in that, you know, you probably feel that you could have got three draws from all three, really. So, you know, no, nothing to be disappointed about. You know, just said to the players now they can they can be confident and and uh, and look forward to the upcoming games.